Hey guys, welcome back to Travel Trailer Nation. I know we've talked about this before, but I'm getting ready for my big trip uh, up north in about a month. And I thought I would briefly go through what my plan is uh, for tools. And it might give you some ideas or maybe some tips on, on what you should take with you. But uh, this first thing is just a torque wrench and it's a quarter inch torque wrench. And that is good for torquing down your air conditioner bolts. I haven't found another use for it yet, but it's in inch pounds, not foot pounds. The next one is a torque wrench, 3 8 inch drive that goes up to 150 foot pounds. And then I've got my big, big, big one uh, that is a half inch drive and it goes up to 300 foot pounds. So that's good for hitch stuff. I mean, that's the main thing, other than I have found a need for it on my 66 bug on a rear nut, axle nut. But other than that, uh, this torque wrench here is totally good, the 3 8 inch drive for doing lug nuts and suspension stuff. Uh, the big one is probably more hitch related where you're dealing with 160 foot pounds on uh, certain uh, bolts on there if you've got an equalizer, which we're going to talk about in another video. Then I've got a quarter inch socket set. I've got a three eighths inch ratchet. Of course there's ratchets in here too. And I got a half inch ratchet. And then I've got uh, various pliers made by Cornwell. I have uh, some impact sockets that are both in half inch and uh, three eighths inch and they're metric and standard. And then of course I have my cordless impact wrench, which I'm not going anywhere without because I have done a lot of stuff on the suspension, and if I have a spring break, this is going to save my life, basically. Uh, I have my multi-tester. I have various screwdrivers and pliers and wrench, and these two wrenches I carry because they are for the suspension bolts. So if I end up having to replace a spring, uh, these I'm going to need in addition to my... Uh, impact. So I also carry a, a uh, Stanley tape measure because, hey, you know, sometimes it comes in handy. Uh, and then as far as spare parts go, um, I do have a bunch of Wagyu connectors and I have you know, an extra pigtail for the LP gloves, a couple extra Schwintec motors, some uh, Eternabond tape. I have my drill in the case over there, which I use primarily just for raising and lowering the jacks. I've got my bag here uh, that I try and fit everything into. Uh, and I'll tell you, it's heavy. Um, and there's some other stuff in there too, like the, uh, the connectors that go to your electric brakes that are like a gel connector. I also have those in there as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I try to carry some stuff just in case, you know, this is that emergency brake uh, cable, and if let's say I lost one for some odd reason or it snapped or whatever, I've at least got a spare. And I do carry spare hitch parts too because you just never know. Uh, I also carry a hammer and a caulk gun and various sealants just in case. So that's kind of it, guys. That's And I know it's a lot, uh, but it's better to probably be prepared for something bad happening than not be prepared at all and then be at everybody else's mercy and hey listen everyone's been there before when our Schwintec motor went out we had no one to rely on but ourselves and thank goodness you know we were in a campground and we were able to get an, a motor into us and fixed it on our own and saved a bunch of money and uh like i've always said i i love fixing things i just don't like doing it under duress you know i'd rather fix things uh, when I can take my time and think about it and not be under the gun. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope some of this maybe gives you ideas of what you might want to carry. Maybe you don't want to carry all this stuff, and you certainly don't have to. Uh, but it might give you an idea of things that you might want to throw in your tool set. So that's it. Have a great day.